I was going to come on here and fucking snap, you know, rant my ass off and everything because I really didn't like what I see as far as uh, what We Fly High or Jake Reynolds or Wentadelphia, you know. For those that didn't know who it was, you know, just so you know, I have been subscribed to this dude since day one. He was Wentadelphia, then he was uh, Jake Reynolds, then he was We Fly High, and I think there was another name, but I couldn't remember. But let's get something straight here, Jake Reynolds. Just because I'm not gonna rant on here, you know, and call you a piece of shit and everything, you know, as I said earlier, don't make it seem like, you know, I wasn't gonna do this, you know. I've lost a lot of respect for you, either way. I've lost a crap ton of respect for you, kid. At one point, you already know, I fucked with you at point. at one point. You know, I had your back, you know, when you was crying on camera, when I told you, don't ever make that video like that again. I mean, you, you, I understand you're stressing out, you know, you lost, you lost I think I think you said you lost your uh, pet, you know, and uh, you, you've pr pretty much been going through a lot, and, you know, and I, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, and I was hoping everything was fine, but I was saying, don't ever share your personal issue on YouTube. Just because these guys on here are cool, it doesn't mean, you know, that they have your back on YouTube. If one thing people love to do is see people's downfall. They love to see people stress out. You know why? Because when it when it all comes back to you, they're going to use that material and clown you with it. I've witnessed so much shit. Ask a camel toes. He's been through it. Ask Slita. He's been through it. You know, Sports Live in the ATL or Dave in Atlanta. He's been through it. When people have lost their parents, lost their friends, and do did all of that, and then when they share it on YouTube or cry or whatever, they use that piece of material and they clown you with it. Don't ever trust anyone on YouTube. If they not in your own fan base, don't trust anyone. That's what I kept telling you. But you fucked up on a whole not a, a whole lot of level on this one. On a whole nother level, my bad. On a whole nother level. You fucked up, bro. The fact that you would burn your Eagles gear on YouTube, when I tried to tell you, don't be doing some dumb shit that's going to make you regret it. But you really fucked up on this one. You apologize is not gonna un is not gonna fix the shit that you did. You had no idea how much you fucked up. And we can say what we have to say about EDP, you know, when he wiped his ass with the with the uh with the hat, you know, when he um you know wiped the flag all in the dirt and all that crazy shit, all the crazy shit that he has done. He has not ever come to a point that he burnt the hat. He's never come to that point. If that was the case, I probably wouldn't even, you know, I, I wouldn't even have that type of respect for him, honestly. That's just keeping it a hundred. But I know EDP isn't like that. As a matter of fact, he said so much shit, so much shit about the team. Constantly bashed them and everything. But now it's come to the point that I don't really take that serious anymore. Because you know why? It doesn't matter what he said about the team. It doesn't matter, you know, what um what he does to the gear and everything. At least one, at least the two things I can admit about him that I respect that he's never did was A, put another team's jersey on, and B, set him on fire. And as a matter of fact, the worst he's did besides wipe his ass with the beanie and all of that was thank the Redskins. But you, you fucked up on a whole nother level, bro. You know, we emailed the Redskins and thanked them and all of that, but you fucked up on a whole nother level. You fucked up, homie. You apologize is not going to undo that shit. As a matter of fact, the only reason why you're sorry is because a lot of people called you out on it. A lot of people called you out on it. If people didn't, didn't, if people didn't, you know, if, if it's never come to that point, if Joe Shakes never did what he did, if 
Champ Burrs never did what he did or Philly Jim, you wouldn't be sorry. You would have backed it up. You've met every single moment of it. You've met every single moment of it. I don't think you're really sorry for what you did because you have no idea how much you fucked up. You have no idea how much you really fucked up. One thing you never do, no matter how bad a team is, is never set your gear on fire. If you're going to do it, you best do it off camera because nobody except for you will know about it or maybe your parents or whoever witnessed it. Other than that, you should have kept that off of YouTube, but you fucked up, bro. And you have no idea how much you really did. It may not seem nothing to you. You know, you can apologize all you want, but that's not going to change a damn thing. You're only sorry because your ass got caught. Your ass got called out on it. That's the only reason why you're sorry. You could be 17 or 18 or 19. I can't remember how old you are, but you're grown, you're grown enough to know how wrong you are for that, bro. You knew better than that. You knew better than that. It means though that you are one of the main people that always call people out on their fanhood and everything. But you stoop to this level? You fucked up as much as they did. You are the that that right there you pulled was the perfect example of a fake ass fan. That right there is what you did. So you can say what you say, and you can say what you want to say about uh, you know, chant birds or anybody, but you fuck you, you've done the worst. You pretty much did much worse than everybody that you called out. And I and and I meant every single moment when I said in my last video. If anybody support the shit that he did, burning his gear and everything, unsubscribe from me. I don't want no fake ass motherfuckers on this channel. Like for real. No fake ass motherfuckers on this channel. You burnt your gear because the Eagles got the ass handed to by the Cowboys 37 to 10? Obviously, you have, you, well, then again, you, you, you're not even, I don't even think you're 20 years old. So you wasn't around long enough to see, you know, the real struggle of being an Eagles fan during the 90s. I mean, yeah, I, I could most likely remember, you know, well, well I'm being honest with you. The, la the last thing I can remember as far as being an Eagles fan, I mean, not last, but as far back as I can go, I mean, it's like I've seen Randall Cunningham here and there, but my mind wasn't really there enough to really take it serious. You know, it was like, it had to be in like 1997 or whatever when, you know, the Eagles, you know, it was like a couple years after Randall Cunningham, you know, left, we had Bobby Hoyne as our quarterback. Dude, we were three and thirteen. Three and thirteen. The year that happened. Three and thirteen. We were three and thirteen, you know, during the nineties. We were six, nine, and one, or I believe like four and twelve, you know, shit like that. Six and ten. You don't have the slightest clue what it was like to really be an Eagles fan during the nineties. But maybe I can't say that much either because I didn't know how extremely bad it was for sure until I saw a couple games or saw a couple on YouTube or whatever. But I would say, ask Philly 500, ask E-Rock, ask Ranton Philly fan. You know, a lot of people that's been around for years, you know, ask Dark Rock the Eagle. Ask a lot of OGs. They can really tell you the real struggle of being an Eagles fan during the 90s because I can't really tell you everything because I couldn't really, you know, I didn't really witness it live or like that. At least I didn't remember until it, was, until it was around like the late 90s, pretty much. So you, you, thought, it, you thought you could burn your shit? You thought that shit was acceptable after being, what, after that fucking L to the Cowboys when we were 37 to 10? You know, we lost 37 to 10? Obviously, you really don't know what it's like being an Eagles fan a long time ago. As a matter of fact, I didn't, I never did that shit when we were 3 and, three and 13 in 97. You know, I became a fan. 
I mean, if that was the case, I, I could have been a Cowboys fan. I could have been, man, I don't know, maybe a Giants fan. I could have been a Patriots fan who started winning that couple years after. I could have been a 49ers fan. I, hell, I could have been a Colts fan because my dad is a Colts fan. And, and, and the reason why, in case anyone is wondering why is my dad a Colts fan rather than the Eagles fan, well, one, he doesn't like the Eagles. And two, you know, a lot of people on my dad's side, you know, the family, a lot of them was from Baltimore. So before the Baltimore Ravens, there was the Baltimore Colts. And the Baltimore Colts became the Indianapolis Colts. That's why my dad is a Colts fan. He doesn't jump ship like a lot of motherfuckers do in this fan base. And it, as a matter of fact, if he had to choose between being an e uh, Eagles fan or a Cowboys fan, he would much rather be a Cowboys fan. So I'm sure he's happy the Cowboys, you know, destroyed us like they did because he's not really a fan of the office. I mean, he's a football fan, but if he had a team, he's definitely a Colts fan. But Jake Reynolds, son, you fucked up. And you have no idea how much you did. You really fucked up. That shit right there was a piss poor example of an Eagles fan. And I don't think there's any coming back from it. I mean, I don't think, you know, you're not going to stop making videos. I don't, I mean, I think you, I'm sure, I'm sure you've lost a lot of credibility if more than enough people saw it. I mean, then again, Joey Shix did and, and Philly Jim did make a video and, you know, I'm making this on my new channel, so. But I don't think you're sorry because being though. You're only sorry because you, you got caught. You got called out on it. But anyway, Jake, I've lost a lot of respect for you for what you did. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm kind of more mad at that more than the Eagles lose to the Cowboys. Maybe because I also didn't really see the game. And I'd rather not see the highlights. What the fuck ever. But that's all I got to say. You of all people should know better. Being as though you've interviewed so many legit fans. You've interviewed Mac Main. You've interviewed One Giant Rebuttal. You've interviewed Philly 500. You've interviewed so many legit fans. And the shit that you pulled right there. You fucked up, homie. But I'm not going to be the one to justify your fan car. But as far as I'm concerned, you're out, you're out of the bird's nest for that shit. I don't speak on behalf of all other Eagles fans. But as far as my opinion goes, you're out of the bird's nest. That's some fake shit that real fans would never do. I could never in my life. That would even be the last of it. That I would ever burn my gear. I would never do that shit. And all the shit that I've, you know, witnessed being an Eagles fan, especially a long time ago, learning things about them a long time ago, how bad they were, being as though it took them 57 years to finally win a Super Bowl, I would never burn my gear for that. There were moments when it seemed like the Eagles would never win a Super Bowl. But guess what? I was still on board. I never turned my back. The last thing that was ever on my mind was burning the gear. As a matter of fact, there are fans that still never witnessed the Super Bowl. Vikings fans, Lions fans, Browns fans, Bengals fans, Dolphins fans. Even though they won a Super Bowl, what, in the 70s or whatever? But there's still people that's here now that's never witnessed it. Bills fans, Carolina Panthers fans. They were 15 and one and still choked in the Super Bowl. So many fans that's never witnessed the Super Bowl, yet they still here. They have all witnessed fucking the downfall of their team several times, the struggle, and they still never pulled that shit. As a matter of fact, there are Niners fans that's witnessed the Super Bowl and has went through decades of going like no more than four wins a season. There are so, as a matter of fact, there are teams that's even won a Super Bowl, yet those franchises are washed up. Let's keep it 100 here. They're washed up. They have witnessed 
teams, they have witnessed seasons where they've really struggled. They have not even hit five fucking wins. But they never, they never pulled that shit that you pulled, Jake Reynolds. You have no idea. You have no idea how much other teams have gone through, other fans have gone through. And they would have never done that shit. You know why? Because in the end, they love their team. And if you really, if you loved your team, you would have never did that shit. Anyway, 15 minutes in. That's all I gotta say. I'm out of here. Jake, homie, you fucked up, bro. I don't know. I mean, for right now, I feel like I've lost a lot of respect for you. Maybe, maybe it'll change later on. But right now, you fucked up, homie. I had your back, but there's no defending you on this one. There is no defending you on this one. You of all people should have known better. You can delete the video and apologize all you want, but YouTube never forgets. They never forget. Someone already caught the clip, so it's already being spreaded as is. That's all I gotta say. Fly Eagles fly for life. And if you never pulled that shit, if you don't support it, you a real fan in my opinion. That's all I gotta say. I'm out.